Hey everyone, welcome to a new day and welcome back to the channel. My name is Karina. For those of you that are new, thank you for joining us and thank you all for stopping in. Alright, so today I have the weekly food pantry and so this is a reminder, this is one that we walk through and choose our items out of each section. Uh, I also did pass up a lot of things today like uh, produce and dairy. Uh, because we went to two monthlies this week and we got tons of stuff and we don't have the room for more. So I did pass up milk, eggs, fruit, veggies, things like that. We, our refrigerator is small, our freezer is small, and we don't have the room for it. So, But I will show you what we did receive. Okay, so let's get to it. All right, everyone. So... First, we got a box of Fruit Loops, and we got a box of Fruit Loops last time also. And Glenn likes to eat those just as a snack, and they are good. So, like with our camping trips coming up, um, that make a good snack while we're fishing, I guess. We did get a roll of paper towels, two rolls of toilet paper. We got some light bulbs, and they are uh, LED, 60 watt equivalent. We got some saltines without the salt. <laughs> uh, we did get a uh, laundry soap and that is 75 fluid ounces we got a dishwashing soap and this is 25.36 fluid ounces so that's a big one there uh, they did have now I like to use Dawn when I wash dishes they did have Dawn but it was the little uh, the little one and I know palm olive is good too so I went for size on this one we got a box of scallop potatoes we got a can of baked Van Camp's baked beans, two cans of red gold petite diced tomatoes, two cans of canned corn. We got these Jello Temptations. It's a lemon meringue, but I got to get those in the fridge because they've been sitting out. And Entenmann's Pop-Ums. They're like glazed uh, donut holes. A pack of baby Swiss cheese. Two pork chops again. Uh, these have the bone. So that's good. And we got some hoagie rolls, Kroger, and hamburger buns, wiener buns, and some rolls. So that is our weekly food pantry. And we, that's a lot of good stuff too. So laundry soap's not cheap, dishwashing soap's not cheap, none of this stuff is cheap. So blessings to us again this week. All right, everyone. So I am making uh, stuffed peppers tonight for Glenn. I don't eat stuffed peppers. Um, I don't know why, because I don't. I like bell peppers, but just some stuff I don't eat. Um, so I have some rice on the stove right now, and I know a lot of people just use white rice, but I am make, making Spanish rice. So that is on the stove, and I am boiling our, uh, yeah, boiling the last two corn on the cobs we got. Uh, if you recall, I got six cobs from Piggly Wiggly on, what's today, Thursday, Tuesday maybe? Yeah, and we ate four that night, and they were good. They had a really nice sweet taste to them, and uh, so we had two left, and I had already shucked them at the store, so I'm not sure how, how good they'll stay, how long they'll stay get good. I don't know how long they'll stay good. I can't seem to talk. Um, so I'm just going to make those tonight. So I got that going. And right now I'm cutting the onion for the ground beef mix for the stuffed peppers. So I'm just cutting up some onions here. Going to put them in the ground beef along with some uh, diced tomatoes and some of the Spanish rice. So, So that's what I'm doing right now. And since I don't eat, what I was going to do, since I don't eat the stuffed peppers, I was going to just cook up the Italian sausage. Um, but there's going to be plenty of this mixture left from the stuffed peppers. So I think I just might warm up some tortillas and throw some in there for a soft taco or something. So, yeah, that's what I think I'm going to do. All right, so... Hope everybody is having a good day. We had a good day. It's pretty much almost over. It's Thursday and Thursday, late Thursday evening, or yeah, 
I can't really talk today. It's late Thursday afternoon. So, all right, so I'm just going to cut up this onion and I will be right back as soon as I'm ready to cook this. All right, stay tuned. All right, so I've got my onion chopped up in here and my rice is on the last 10 minutes. Um, so I cut the tops off the peppers and scraped out the insides. And then these are what's left of the peppers. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna just slice them up, chop them up, and I'm gonna put them in the ground beef mixture. That way all the peppers get used, all parts of the pepper. So, all right, be ashamed to just throw this stuff away. So yeah, that's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna add it to that and I will be right back. All right, so my, my rice is done. Again, I made Spanish rice and it's super simple to make. I've done a video on it before, so I'll just uh, try my best to remember to leave the link to that video in the description below, but it tastes really good. It smells good. That was hot. <laughs> All right. I'm going to finish this and get the meat going. Alright everyone, so I'm here at the stove, obviously. Uh, I got my pound of, this is just one pound of ground beef. And the onions and the chopped up uh, bell peppers from the top of that bell pepper. And I'm just going to throw some seasoned salt in there. And some pepper. And even though it has onions in there already, I am going to throw some onion powder in there. to say right now <laughs> I'm just cooking I don't know if you can see the time but it is uh, 7 39 and I'm just barely making supper that's just the way we do it <laughs> and this is the first time I've made stuffed peppers so hopefully he likes them well I better start preheating the oven I'm gonna preheat the oven and it's going to be the 350. I'm just making them two stuffed peppers. And again, I'm just going to warm up some tortilla and put some mix, this ground beef mix in it. I am going to add uh, diced tomatoes and obviously rice. But I'm going to wait to... Uh, I'm going to cover this and let it for a bit to soften up the onions and peppers and I will be right back all right so <laughs> that was the beeper for the oven and now I'm going to add in my diced tomatoes and I don't measure this stuff and it doesn't make sense to save any so I'm going to throw it in there I don't want to have to put any more in the refrigerator all right so I've got the tomatoes in there and now I'm going to throw some rice in there I know a lot of people just measure <laughs> I'm just throwing it in there and corn on the cob doesn't exactly go with this uh, meal but who cares tastes good and I need to cook it so I don't need to drain this. This was the ground beef from the food pantry and it's 85.15 and it wasn't that much grease. So I am just going to go ahead and steam this. Put the lid on and let it steam for a bit. Low burn, low heat. 
And then I'll stuff the peppers and throw them in the oven. Alright everyone, so I am ready to fill the peppers and put them in the oven. So I just put some of the mix. It looks good. It really smells good. It looks actually good enough to just to eat like that. But um, I've got two peppers, orange, orange and red. Now the red one's a little shorter um, but because that the green stem didn't come off into about this area. So that's okay. All right, so I did spray this a little bit with nonstick. Um, so, and again, two doesn't look like a lot for him, but we also have corn on the cob he's going to have to. So, I'm just stuffing these. And hopefully he likes them. He can decide what he wants to change for next time. And I'll throw a little bit of cheese on there. Just a little bit because he doesn't like that much cheese. And people make these different. So, you know, to each person their own. Some people um, use like tomato sauce. Um, cover it with tomato sauce or pasta sauce. I don't know. First time for me. So this is how I'm making it. And see see what we would change for next time so I don't know if you can see there they're quite full and I'm just gonna throw a little bit of cheese on there for them and I'm gonna put these in the oven for about 30 minutes Okay, so let me throw them in the oven and we'll be back when they're done. All right, everyone. So uh, while we're waiting for the stuffed peppers to bake in the oven, I wanted to show you what I was sent. So this is friend mail. And let me just adjust the camera angle here. Well, you can see that pretty good. Hamilton Beach hand mixer. How's that? Right? That's pretty awesome. So this was sent to me by Allison. So Allison, thank you so much. I, I, I continue to be in awe of what you guys do for me. I really am. And before I received this that day, I was talking to Glenn about how I can't believe people send me stuff. Um, it just, I guess no matter... <laughs> How many times I get sent something I'll just continue to be in awe over it and very grateful I, I can't explain that enough I, I can't express that enough that I'm very grateful thank you so much Allison from the bottom of my heart now Allison uh, obviously saw the video where my hand mixer went out and then she also saw the video where I don't know if it was the same video or the next video but she also stated she knows uh, it's my hand mixer started working, um, but she said it's always good to have a backup. So thank you so much, Allison. I've already got it out of the box. And <laughs> yeah, oh man, you guys, you guys leave me speechless. You really do. So now look at this one. Um, mine, my current one doesn't have this. This is a... a like a plate rest not when you're actually using it but when you put it away everything fits in here and it comes look at this it comes with a whisk attachment I've never seen that on a hand mixer before well I actually did see it on a hand mixer before on a video I just watched I was watching a baking video and I saw somebody put on a whisk attachment on their hand mixer I'm all wow I didn't know they came with those and then I opened up this one and there's a, a whisk attachment on there so that's pretty amazing and obviously the two uh, spinners well, I don't know what they're called but mixers and the cord fits in here too so all of that is in here so yeah there's the cord put in your two mixers 
put in your whisk and there's a slot here for the cord so you just do it that like that and there you go you can put it away like that how amazing is that so now this this hand mixer <laughs> now when I was reading um, the little paper they uh, send with stuff now this hand mix mixer comes with all the speeds here one through six and look at it comes with a burst mode oh my god that could get me in so much trouble I I think I'd have everything flying everywhere with that now when I saw it had a burst mode I don't know if any of you uh, remember the comedy show with Tim Allen uh, home improvement uh, where he was Tim the two-man tailor and he always um, fix things and try to make them faster and and when I saw it had burst mode I automatically thought about that show <laughs> and Tim the Two Man Taylor that is actually one of my two favorite comedy shows of all time um, my two comedy shows that are my favorite are Home Improvement and Coach with Craig T. Nelson those are and as actually as I was uh, just making all this stuff for the stuffed peppers I have my tablet on the windowsill there and I was just watching old reruns of Coach on Amazon Prime Video so you can get that kind of stuff for free there <laughs> well not free because you pay a monthly fee for that but um but anyway so Allison thank you again so much for thinking about me and you guys just can like I said continue to amaze me and leave me in awe and speechless because I I truly believe that I, I cannot thank you guys enough I really can't I just I don't ever believe I will be able to thank you guys enough for what you guys do so friend mail got a new hand mixer there with the whisk attachment and burst mode that will certainly get me into trouble so <laughs> all right so there is the friend mail uh the peppers are almost done but yeah thank you thank you thank you all right everyone so here it is uh stuffed peppers first time making it and corn on the cob so i know it probably doesn't like i said doesn't go together but had to be made so there it is stuffed peppers and i'm going to give this to glenn not quite sure how i'm doing mine yet so stay tuned for that all right everyone so this is what i decided to do um i just basically put some in on my plate i threw some cheese on it and covered it up let it melt so i just threw some on my plate cut up some avocado and my corn on the cob so that is what we're having tonight and um like i said earlier i tasted that uh the mix already and it tastes real good so i'm pretty sure i'm gonna enjoy this all right so stay tuned um i'll just do a little chit chat at the end of the night all right everyone so i'm ready to wrap up the night here and uh so yeah um just an update on the stuffed peppers uh, again the filling was good it i thought it had a really good taste and i'm glad i put cut up the remainder of the pe uh, bell peppers the tops of them I'm glad I chopped them up and put them in the uh, mix because I think that's the flavor I tasted the most and I thought it just brought out a good taste to the whole mix itself so Glenn thought the mix was good as well so that's good <laughs> as far as the pepper um, he thought it probably next time just have it in the oven a little longer maybe an hour uh, I did have it in there for a half hour so that's the only thing um maybe next time when i make the mix i might have to separate some because i like the mix the way it was but he could um he would want some like jalapenos or green chilies and stuff uh things like that to give it a little spice and that's okay i can just separate it made plenty so there's he had his uh i made him two peppers and he ate one with the corn on the cob and then he actually he asked for a bowl uh, a plate with just the mix on it so and there's still mix left so there's plenty of mix um 
And I think actually that mix would taste good on soft tacos or something. So, so that's that. Um, yeah. Uh, again, Allison, thank you so much for the gift. Um, I can't tell you how much I appreciate you guys. And, and I guess I sound like a broken record when I say you guys just leave me in awe all the time. So, yeah. <laughs> I don't know what to say about that, um, but I'm very grateful, so thank you. Hi, Prissy. Prissy's here. Prissy's here. Come here, babe. <laughs> what, baby? Give me a kiss. What? Can you say hi? Say hi. Prissy wants to join us. My huh, baby? Yeah. She was sitting on the floor for the longest time. Um, I've said that in the past. Well, usually when I come in at night, I'll sit on the recliner and recline back a little bit. And uh, Prissy and Blackie will both jump on my lap. <laughs> okay. Okay. Yeah. You okay? Yeah. Thanks for joining us. Can you say goodnight to everybody? No. Say goodnight. Say goodnight. Say goodnight, everybody. <laughs> okay. So, um, all right. So, to wrap this up, um, What's going on for us uh, in the next couple weeks? So this Sunday, Glenn has his RC drag race. And then we are home all next Sunday, or all next week. And then the week of, the last week in August, I think that's the 30th. Monday is the 30th of August. Then that's when we actually start our camping trips again. So... The end of August into September, we go camping, and then again after that week. So we camp from Monday through Thursday. We check in Monday afternoon, and then we leave Thursday afternoon. And then we're home for the weekend, and then we go back again on the Monday. So we'll camp two weeks, not two weeks, you know, in a row. Um, but again, we're home for the weekend. So... We'll be camping every week in September, except one, and I think that's the week of the 13th, and then into the first week of October. So our camping trips, uh, they've been booked for a long time already. So, so, and that's one reason we don't do anything all summer as well, is we know we're going to have a bunch of camping trips uh, coming up in September. So, and the fishing's good there. Hopefully it's as good as last year. But, so yeah. Um, other than that, yeah, it's going to be a busy September with a lot of camping. So, yeah. I am still working on uh, part two of our Friday outing. Uh, part two is when we end up in Fond du Lac. Um, there's a sunset. And we did a little bit of fishing. I don't, I'm not sure if I recorded the fishing or not. I probably recorded some of it. But we didn't catch anything. But that doesn't matter. We still had a good time out. And then I have to edit. So I have to edit part two. I have to edit our catfishing day. Which was Sunday. And then I have to edit Mondays. So... That's a total of three trips. So, yeah. Um, yeah, I got a lot of editing to do. All right, so I'm going to wrap it up there. And I'm just going to recline back and relax, watch a movie. So, I thank you so much for taking time out of your day to watch this video. I really, really appreciate it. 
So, again, Allison, thank you so much. And thank you all for your support. So, with that, remember to live life, be good to yourself, and be good to others. Until next time.